Hello and welcome to another Unity tutorial. Today we will set up a Git version control system for your Unity project. And if you're new to this, then Git is a version control system for tracking changes in source code. It was created in 2005 by Linus Torvalds, and it's free and open source. If you're more than one developer on a project, then source control is a must. With Git you can easily merge code from two or more developers and you can easily go back and forth in time in the project. Even if you work alone, version control is a must. If you delete a file by mistake or just simply mess up the code, you can always go one step back. Are you ready? Now let's create a git controlled Unity project. First of all, we need the source tree client. You can download that from the sourcetreeapp.com and click on agree and download and save file. Double click on the installer to begin the sign in process. Click on the Bitbucket icon and if you don't have a Bitbucket account then you should create one now. It's completely free. I already have an account so I will just log in with my username and password. Now click on the next button, select git and click on the next button again. Wait a few seconds and click next. Check your username and email and click next. Click no for SSH key and we are up and running. As you can see, I already have a few projects here. And by the way, when working with Git, a code project is called a repository. Now let's create a new repository. And we do that by clicking the add folder. Now let's browse to our asset folder of our Unity project. Let's rename the project. We could call it something like tutorial tests project. Make sure that git is selected and now click create and click yes on the warning and we are ready. This is our file status window. Source tree has already detected some files and this is perfect. We can just state these. And when we state files, it's a way of telling source tree to upload these files when synchronizing. Click on the state all button to state the files. The files are now staged and ready to upload. And now let's go back to our Unity project and do some work. Our 2D theme is complete empty, so let's throw in some sprites. Let's create a square and drag it in. And also maybe a diamond. And uh, let's drag it in and scale it up something like this and maybe also the square. Let's scale it up and we could also change the background color to uh, let's say yellow. And uh, don't forget to save and um, we have made a new scene. Let's have a look in source tree. And again source tree has detected some new files and this looks fine so let's just hit the stage all button. And we are ready to commit the first version of our project. Let's call it for tutorial version 0.01 .01 and hit the commit button. And we are done. Our files are now safe and we can go back to Unity and work some more. Now let's change some things in the scene. We could change the background color to red and maybe add another sprite. This could be a circle this time. And let's scale it up a little and of course don't forget to save. And let's have a look in source tree. As we might have expected there's some new files here. Let's click stage all and commit the new changes. We could call that for tutorial version 0.02. .02. Click commit. And now if you switch to the history window you can see we have the two different versions here. If you double click on the first version, you will get this pop-up error here. Just say OK to that. And let's switch to Unity again. Click on Reload and BANG! The first version is back. Now double click on the second version and switch to Unity. Click on Reload and whoa! The second version is back again. So, as you can see, Git is a must-have tool when working with larger projects. And that was it for today, guys. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And see you tomorrow for another Unity tutorial. Have fun! Mm -hmm.